Yo, what's up? It's your boy Shadow Sniper again. And today I'm back with a video. I'm just going to show you all how to flash an FTF file um, onto your Xperia Player or any Ericsson Xperia phone. So basically, what an FTF file is, for those who don't know, it's a stock ROM image. Um, one, this is what it looks like. Zoom in. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, so once you flash it onto your phone it'll put you back to stock ROM and also it'll unroute your phone and fix any problems you may have had with your phone. Um, so yeah, I'll leave the link to all the different FTF files in the description down below. Um, but first off what you really need to do is you need to go download Flash Tool and install it. Make sure you, when you install Flash Tool you um, install all the necessary drivers as well in order for it to work um, I'll also leave the link down below for the flash tool and then what you need to do is you need to open up flash tool and once you've downloaded your FTF file you need to open up firmwares and then you need to drag and drop your FTF file into there and then press back then you need to go into your phone settings and tick the box at the top USB debugging then you need to open up flash tool then you need to connect your phone to USB so I'm just going to put the camera down to do that okay once you've connected your phone to USB you should see a lot of information pop up onto your screen about your phone then what you do is you click on that flash icon icon and then make sure that box is ticked, flash mode, click OK and then you look for your FTF file, there it is, so click on that and then click OK it now says it's preparing files for flashing so you just wait Okay, so it's gonna a, a a little box is gonna pop up and it's gonna say to unplug the device, power off, and press the back button and hold it, and then plug back in the USB. So 
let's do that so power off hold the back button and then plug in the USB so I'm gonna put the camera down and plug in the USB so now it's gonna flash the FTF file onto my phone This process only takes about a minute to do. okay so it's finished so once it's done unplug your phone turn it on
and there you go as simple as that back to stock and like I said it also unroots the phone too no super user app So there you have it, that's it for the video guys. If you like the video please thumbs up, rate, comment and also subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.